Hi everyone, welcome to the Knitting Turnpike. Welcome to the Knitting Turn Pike. My name is Gina Pike. I'm so very happy that you're here with me today. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a yarn acquisition video. Um, I have uh, I took some time off, and in during that time, I, was, I uh, acquired some new yarns that I want to share with you guys. Um, in case you guys are thinking about maybe buying from these same stores, maybe want would like to maybe see or get a, an um, an opinion on the yarn. That you might think of be might be thinking of purchasing. Um, hopefully, I bought the ones that you're interested in. So let's get started here. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video. So grab something to drink, get comfortable, sit down, spend some time with me, looking at some beautiful new yarn. Um, let's see. I think um, maybe I should just start with th that this year um, for 2022. I'm going to be focusing more on larger projects. Um, I'm still going to be working on shawls, but I want to be making more wearables like this test knit is it actually a jacket um, that I'm going to be showing soon. Um, I want to be making some sweaters. I've got some ideas for some sweaters to be that I want to make some socks, some blankets, um, still be making the shawls, but, but I'm branching more out into that arena. And there are some crochet as well as some knitted items. So um, hopefully my channel will be a little bit more well-rounded because I know a lot of you guys are just crocheters um, and uh, you probably get tired of me showing just knitted items. So today let's get into some yarn. Um, with that being said, the first thing I'm going to share is um, this is a sock set. Maybe I should have opened this up before I started talking. This is from Ruby and Roses. Uh, this is a sock set I bought from them. This is their Castle by Day Soft Rose Base, which is 85% Superwash Merino, 15% Nylon. Oh my gosh, this is really soft. These socks would be amazing. And this is 437 yards, 100 grams, 4 ply. And this is called Castle by Day. As you can see, this is the main color. And it came with two, actually three mini skeins. There's these two solid ones, a pink one and a neutral one. And then it had this one as well. It has all these beautiful colors. And I believe this was in a collaboration with Nitty Natty, who was doing a sock along. And I think they made, dyed this for her uh, knit along, her sock knit along. But I just thought it was really pretty, and since I'm going to be making socks, more socks this year, I thought I'd make a really beautiful pair of colorful socks. So, Ruby by Roses, I'm sorry, Ruby and Roses yarn, which is, um, I'll put uh, links to all the websites down in the comments below, or to their YouTube page, um, but, but Castle by Day sock set, beautiful. Oh my gosh, this yarn is so amazingly soft. And it makes me want to get more of their yarn. The first time I really saw their yarn was when I was seeing um, Christy of Sweet Pea Crafts showing their Advent set. And um, the colors on that Advent set were gorgeous. Alright, the next item I have is some um, some Miss Babs yarn. Miss Babs is out of uh, Mountain View, Mountain View, Tennessee. Um, this jacket was made out of Miss Babs Akata Katadin, which is a blue, blue faced Leicester wool, 100% um, wool. But I was scared I was going to run out of that color. That colorway is called Fiber Fiber World 2020. They they died. They made that color for a Fiber World 2020 event. Um, so I found this was all that they had in stock of that same color. This is Fiber World 2020. Um, it's in a different yarn base, though. Um, this was all they had, and I was like, well, if I have to mix it in, I will. This is their Yummy 2-ply yarn base, which is 100% superwash merino wool, 400 yards, 365 meters, 
uh, 3.9 ounces, 110 grams, um, and really beautiful green with some grays in it and some blues. And you can see how it knits up there. The second yarn base I have from Miss Babs is uh, their Tarte yarn base, which is a fin another fingering weight yarn base. This is the yarn. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? This colorway is called um, Mix Tape 2.0. It's blues and purples and a little, just a hint of pink. Um, this yarn base is 500 yards or 457 meters. It is 75% superwash merino wool, 15% nylon, 10% tinsel. And it's 500 yards, so this is 1,000 yards of yarn. Um, and uh, really, really beautiful. You would use a crochet hook B3 or a knitting needle of US 1 through 3. Okay, that's mixed tape 2.0. All right, um, and the next item I bought was, um, this is a heavy lace weight yarn from Miss Babs. And you can see it's got pinks and maybe a hint of coral. I'm seeing some coral, peachy coral right there. More, maybe more peach. And this is called, their yarn base is called uh, Yearling. It's a heavy lace weight yarn. It's 65% merino wool, 35% Tessa silk. And this is 1,200 yards, heavy lace, um, which is also 1,095 meters, and it's 185 grams. You use, you use a US 00 to 1 knitting needle, um, or then the crochet hook is a US 8 to B. Um, and this is colorway is called um, Last of the Dahlias, and it was made specifically for Rhinebeck. When they went, they went to Rhinebeck, and they made this specifically for Rhinebeck 2021. And it's really beautiful. I just love it. Um, I've used this yarn before to make a lot of the Boo Knits shawls, and it comes out beautifully. It blocks beautifully, and it's just I love the uh, yearling darn the yearling yarn base i can't say that very fast all right the next item i have um to show you guys is from amanda hope i bought this around christmas time this was another sock set from them as you can see it's it's called uh, peppermint bark it's got this really nice full skein of sock yarn which is their two ply superwash merino wool um, 85% merino wool, 15% nylon, and it's red and white with some pink, and then it came with three different mini skeins. You can see a red one, a kind of burgundy, is it burgundy? Yeah, dark brown, burgundy, and then a dark green, and this has lots of candy in there as well. I need to open this up and get the candy out and everything. I just kind of left it stored since Christmas. And I also got from Amanda Hope two more skeins of the uh, red Christmas. Is this Christmas red? This is a mini skein, 20 gram mini skein, which is, um, it's also got some gold Stellina in there. Ooh, that's really hard to see. I don't really see the Stellina. Maybe you guys can actually see the, actually it's not gold, it's red Stellina in there. Can you see the sparkle in it? Subtle, very subtle. Uh, this is 20 grams. Um, I can't read it. I think 80, 80 meters, which is 87 yards. And then there's also some stitch markers in there that I need to pull out as well. Some pine cone stitch markers in there. Okay, so that's that, um, and the, the yarn base is the same, <laughs> excuse me, the same, it's fingering weight. Um, this one is actually merino wool, 80%, uh, nylon, 15%, and gold stellina, 5%. And that's Amanda Hope. Um, 
Okay, the next yarn base I have is I bought this from um, fabulousyarn.com, and this is uh, the fiber, the fiber company. And it's it's canopy fingering weight yarn. This yarn is so soft. I'm just going to show you one skein, but I've got like eight skeins here to make some sort of a top. I told you I was going to be making tops and sweaters. This is fingering weight. It's a soft band, blend of bamboo, baby alpaca, and merino wool. Let's see what the breakdown is. It is, um, uh, this is a 50 gram skein. It is 50% alpaca, 30% wool, 20% viscose. It is 200 yards, and the knitting needle is 2.75 to 3.25, um, which is 2 to 3 U.S., um, and it's made in Peru, and this color is called Quetzal. Here, Quetzal. And like I said, I have eight of these in this color. Um, it's kind of a green, blue-green color. And it is really soft. It's going to make a really beautiful sweater top. Um, probably more for winter, but it is, um, maybe I'll make it short sleeve. But anyway, that's eight skeins, 1,600 yards of uh, this yarn. Um, all right, the next yarn I have is another sweater quantity of yarn. I have four skeins of Madeline Tosh. This is Madeline Tosh. It's their Euro sock. And this color is called Ceremony, which is a blue. It's like a, a royal blue. And this is in, um, let's see, 100% merino wool, fingering weight, 435 yards, um, 397 meters. Um, you use a US zero to one. Um, or a crochet hook, uh, B, B at B1, 14 to 16 millimeter. That's the crochet hook for this. And I have four skeins of this, four skeins of this yarn. So four 35 times four is a good squat sweater quantity of this yarn or a nice top. And that's what I plan to use it for. And I got this yarn um, off of a Ravelry D stash. Some lady was D stashing this, and I got a really good deal on these four skeins. Did not pay a full price on these, and they're just like, you know, never used, brand new, just stored in her stash. And um, so that was the next one. And oh, also the Miss Bab stuff. I don't think I told you guys this. They were having their end of the year sale. They have an end of year sale every year um, after Christmas, and you can get things like, it, it's, it has to be in stock, items in stock, but a lot of these were in stock, and you get like 25% off, so that is a really great deal. Um, now this yarn, I did not get it on the Christmas sale, but I did get, again, a sweater quantity. I have four large skeins of this. I'm not going to unwrap all four of these. This, this is like this. These are all the same. This is from Miss Babs. This is the color Cord Cordovan. Cordovan. Now this yarn is Miss Babs Yowza yarn, which is a DK weight yarn, and it's 100% superwash merino wool, 560 yards. Um, eight ounces, uh, let's see, the knitting needles, US five to seven, the crochet gauge is, uh, US seven to I, and I, like I said, I have four skeins of this, which is over, like over 2,000 yards, um, I bought it for like a poncho, or maybe another, if I don't make, use it for a poncho, I may use it for a top, but beautiful burgundy yarn. Again, like I said, I'm trying to do sweater quantities, top quantities of yarn for this year. Um, and then the last item I have to show you guys is um, 
This was like again from a Ravelry D stash. Same lady as I bought this. I bought this also out of her D stash. I got four skeins of this yarn. This is another Madeline Tosh yarn. This is from um, uh, a twist. This is Madeline Tosh Twist Light, which is 75% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon, fingering weight, 420 yards per skein. Um, and the knitting needle is a US 1 to 2. Um, a crochet hook is a USB to an E. And this colorway is called Opaline. And I have four skeins of this yarn. And, um, which is 1,700, almost 1,700 yards of yarn, which is another sweater quantity of yarn. So, I think... That is all. Actually, I do have, no, I didn't, I have a new, I acquired one skein to go with two other skeins and then I'm going to use her sweater, but I'll show you that when I'm, when I'm working on it. I think that's all the acquisitions I have for December and, uh, early January, um, where I bought yarn. Um, uh, so I, I appreciate you letting me share that with you. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions about any of these yarns. Um, just let me know down in the comments below. Um, I, uh, I bought from Miss Madeline Tosh is actually now owned by Jimmy Beans Wool out of Reno, Nevada. Bought from them and used their yarns many times. It's a wonderful yarn. Miss Bab's yarns are amazing. Um, and they have a really good return policy. Fab, Fab yarns, fabulous yarns have really high-end, nice yarns as well. And they give you a little bit of a discount on them as well. Um, and, um, and then I'm buying from D Stash. As always, you can get a really good deal uh, sometimes on really nice new yarns. Um, and then I'm excited. I've never used the Ruby and Roses yarn before, but I've heard good things about it. And then, of course, Amanda Hope has amazing yarns as well. All of these yarns are all amazing and I highly recommend each one of these to you guys. But if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them down below. I hope you've enjoyed seeing these. Um, I can't wait to get uh, some of these into a project. Um, like I said, most of them are going to be for tops. Um, probably this one will be like for a shawl. And then of course the sock sets will be for socks. Um, and uh, thank you again. I, I, I enjoyed spending time with you. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you all very, very soon. Take care.